Okay. Now, um, there is a possibility right now, as we are speaking, that my take will not actually even be that good. But that is a risk that every one of us takes. Any one of us who steps forward to share our take with the world, we, uh, we, we run the risk of, of doing a bad take. Okay? So... Um, we're going to react to this and we're going to try to walk, to walk away with it with one, I have some personal counterpoints that I already know from seeing a little bit of it earlier. And two, we're going to, um, we're going to, uh, uh we're, we're going to, um, talk about this issue in depth to hopefully yield productive, interesting dialogue without, you know, that being, I don't know, horrible. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, this is the let's get into the take without without any further, without any further uh, nonsense. This is the beginning of the segment. We're gonna listen to Vosh's takes on the segment, and we're gonna go from there. Okay, here we go. So, I feel oh, viewers, a, a little bit bad taking on Blair White from time to time. Because I do it a lot. I did. I do it disproportionately, you know. Um, but then on the other hand, I really don't you, like her. So it kind of balances out a little bit, you know. Um, the last time we saw Blair White, she was on a two v two debate panel, and uh, she just well, she showed. You I don't know. Do what... we not want to do the whole segment? Should I not do the whole segment? It's too early. Okay. All right. Then somebody give me the timing for just the neo pronouns and stuff. Okay. I can react. I can react to Blair. Okay. 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 Starts with a lot of Blair. Here's where the neo pronoun stuff starts. Okay. 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 I didn't plan this, so here we go. The whole thing is about them. Yeah. Well, I'm interested in talking about the neo pronoun and plurality thing. Okay. Here we go. Is this where is this where the full discussion is? Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, okay, look. We're going to watch... I'm going to watch the whole thing sped up. Fuck it. I'm watching the whole thing sped up. Fuck you all. I'm doing what I want to do. If you don't like it, you can keep watching. Just fucking let's chill. 37 and not 47. Okay. 37 and not 47. Okay, here we go. So, the no, we don't need the intro. We don't need it. Okay? We're going to put Chipmunk Vosh on. Okay? Deal with it. Okay? Deal with it. Deal with it. Is a thing which is not a neo pronoun, but it's in the title. Okay. So some examples that we have here are bug and oh, itself, it and itself. That one's a little degrading. Listen, I'm sorry, but people have the right to use it, its pronoun pronouns if they want to. Okay. It it you might think it's degrading, but if they want it, that's fine. Wait, wait. No, th no, that's another pronoun. It is already a pro That's already a pronoun. It's just not one typically used for people. Bun and bun self, when Cute. you're like a bunny. And tree and tree self. Okay. There are more, but those are the most popular ones. Hey, here's... Are, are they? Real bug and bug self? That's the most... What? By what okay. metric? What? Good call. Good. See, see so I, I far, the most popular doing the pronoun would probably I got nothing be Zizer, to say here. Right? Z Z I can't. Zizer, right? That's got to be the most popular one because that was the first normalized neo pronoun. Is it easier? I don't know. Whatever. Or fay fair, right? Yeah. But yeah, those two probably. Um, Did I? I'm sorry. Whatever. She. Fuck you. She's speaking on this with all of the stupid confidence of a person who really did hear about this three days ago. But there's no way she did. It's not. It's not possible. I'm pretty sure that if we go back and watch a couple older Blair White videos, she would make jokes about neo pronouns. You know? Um. Yeah. Also, there's a very creepy smile. Oof. So if you're thinking, Blair, that is absolute bullshit and no one actually uses those pronouns, I wish that were the truth. Time How to find some Twitter room? posts. So actor Keenan Lonsdale, better yeah, known for his work on The Flash and Love, Simon, both shows that I have not watched, came out and identified his new pronouns that he wants everyone to use for him, which are tree and tree self. Yeah. In an interview, he said, I want people to call me tree because we all come from trees. So it doesn't matter if you're a he or a she or a they or a them. I thought we all came from monkeys. At the end of the day, everyone... Wait, <laughs> does Blair White believe in evolution? I, I don't. Was that a joke at me, or was that I, I don't know what the butt of that joke was. 
um, technically, we didn't come from monkeys. We have a shrivy. From time to time, the limitations of our age require us to do this. A, a bitch reacting to a bitch reacting to a bitch, okay? It is a reality of streaming, okay? Enjoy yourself. I have brought you entertainment for the day. Jared evolutionary ancestor. One's a tree. I want to call my friends tree and me tree and everyone tree. So my first thought is that I want whatever tree he's smoking. That's not no regular tree, sis. You're on the good shit. My second thought is that this is highly narcissistic behavior. And no one ever really brings up narcissism when it comes to people who... Okay. Hold on. We're about to get to some... Are you ready for Blair White to make some uh, accusations that people could just as easily make about her and her gender identity? Want people to call them doll and doll self and use these crazy pronouns that really just don't align with how human beings speak about other human beings. Like, there's... Hey, Blair, but as you're well aware, for a long time at least, human beings didn't speak about you. These are... Well, yeah, these arguments could be applied just, just as much to you. If you want arguments against neo-pronouns, you're going to have to think a little bit harder than this. I know good arguments against the normalization of neo-pronouns, but they have to come from a pro-trans position. Blair literally made a TikTok about neo-pronouns like three months ago, lol. Yeah, that makes, yeah, she just completely made the premise of this up. So much narcissism that goes into that. If you expect everyone around you to alter the language in which they use for human beings, not even just for genders, because I remember when I first Blair. came out as transgender and my parents and my family and stuff, like they had, you know, it was a process to come around to using she all the time. Now they do, obviously, but in the beginning, it takes some time to go from he to she, but to go from like normal human interactions and human language to be like, hey, tree self. To many people, the idea of calling you a woman. Who, who, okay. So I love that, I love that Blair can't even now listen i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this i'm gonna react to the blair part isn't it kind of weird that blair won't even use the pronouns correctly in the sentence like who would say hey tree self like hey yourself what it would be like tree is coming over later hey himself like what the fuck yeah it doesn't make any sense yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Like, she doesn't even parody it correctly because she has to make it... See, that's the problem. Much like with trans arguments, you have to... you have to, They have to make it more absurd because the actual premise that's being argued is not really all that absurd. Is as ludicrous as calling that person a tree. You know this, Blair. This is the same... This is the attack helicopter argument. This is the same thing, Blair! It is. Hey, girl, that's ill. It's very much serving the same energy as like, pick out the red and yellow M&Ms for me, darling. Like it's very that. And my next thought on that is we really need to, at some point, have a discussion for the expectation for me as a trans person. And I'm just me, let's talk about trans people in general. Everyone uh -huh. hates when I use me as an example, even though I am trans. So like, it's like, why shouldn't I? Um, well, the expectation for trans people to not only accept, but view and regurgitate this sort of thing as comparable to their own experience, right? Like the expectation for actual trans people to view identifying as a fucking tree as still falling under the trans umbrella and like- All right, okay, I let, let her run for a little bit there so we could get some, get some content to respond to. <clears throat> so let's see. first and foremost, Blair White is not a particularly smart woman and is never ever going to point out an anti uh, neo pronoun <gasps> argument True, that wouldn't also She's picking arguments out of the names of the, out of the mouths of the people who dead name her in her comment section and throwing them at another group of people. This is actually the same argument that I had with her the one time True, we debated though. about True. whether or not non-binary people fit into trans people, like the umbrella, except kind of expanded a little bit. So I want to make something totally clear, okay? Like super duper duper. I have clear, seen okay? that. Netflix. First of all, the show celebrities where, in particular uh, have been doing yes. weird name change shit for a while, okay? Yes, they didn't have. Snoop Dogg go by Snoop Lion for a while? I mean, he didn't yes, identify he did. as a lion, did he? He just went by Snoop Lion for a while, and everyone was cool with it. Does anybody it remember Dogg? when Prince changed his name to a symbol legally? Come on. And now he's Snoop Dogg again, but he was like Snoop Lion for a week because he went to like Jamaica or something, you know? Um, yeah, Snoopzilla. <laughs> yeah. Um, so again, like, I don't know. There's there's always been some variance there. And Puff Daddy has had like 5,000 names. Yeah. So also to be clear, this guy's not identifying as a tree. I don't know if Blair knows that. He, they just want to be referred to as a tree because it fits with some sort of broader perspective they have in the world. But if you ask them like, hey, do you think Artist formerly you are known as Prince, yes. They would probably point at a tree and say, no, that's a tree. But you can call me tree, you know? Does that make sense? It's, it's not exactly the same. I'm guessing. Now, if they were to say, no, I am the literally rock. a tree, then I guess true. I would disagree with them. Um, Me, when I find out the Beatles aren't actually Beatles. True, Blue. You said that? We're still the same. Like, that's an insult. Does this Come on, Vosh. The guy wanting to be called a tree is a little weird. That's so weird. Yeah. It is weird. Can we, um, real quick, though. Real quick. Real quick. And chat, 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 chat. Please chill. Okay. Okay. 
I uh, people are I'm seeing people tearing strips out of of each other in chat. If you could just chill for a minute. Let's 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 not tear strips out of each other, okay? Let's take it easy, okay? It's good. You can talk to each other, but let's not get too angry, okay? There we go. Let's continue. Let's continue. Who cares? I, like, I, I just... People get so outraged over this. I mean, what I'm looking for is social harm. I'm about to nuke everyone who's telling me to use the tree pronouns, okay? struggle really mean anything if it can just be boiled down to like the same thing as hi i'm a tree so something i've noticed upon researching neo pronouns and who exactly uses them through tiktok because where else of course would people use these pronouns but tiktok it's almost overwhelmingly exclusively like teenagers using them teenagers being like my pronouns are vamp oh. and vamp self because they want to be fucking vampires we're talking young teenagers like you know like james charles victims age that, yeah <laughs> okay i'll give blair that one okay fair yeah I, I, i'm fine. gonna i'm that gonna do okay. that too so obviously okay. i didn't want to put like yeah. minors on here and be like what are you doing um you know what they're doing it's like it's it's just it's the new email i was not hypocritical to say yeah he calls himself tree who cares and then get mad that people are asking you to call him by his preferred pronouns hey sweetie katie did dumb fuck i'm using they them for the tree person you said he him you fucking transphobe you're banned get out unironically trying to call me out for misgendering the fucking tree guy when you all are using he hims to accuse me of doing so jesus christ that's the end that's all i want to hear about it okay also they them is gender neutral dumb fucks holy shit can you imagine being a conservative Okay? And watching this, and watching people in chat unironically getting angry over the tree thing? Holy shit, shut up. I will permanently ban you from every element of my community. You are embarrassing. Emo. It really is. And frankly, if anyone here knows what I look like in high school, it's not that much of a motherfucking stretch to think I would have probably, if neo pronouns were like a trend when I was in high school, used them. Although, I don't know, it was very anti labor Huh. Interesting. Weird. That's a weird one, Blair. That's a weird thing to say, isn't it, Blair? It's a little weird. If I wasn't, if I was, if I wasn't so scared of conservatives, I might use neo pronouns too. Oh, whoopsies, whoopsies. If I wasn't so scared of conservatives, damn. Back then, I remember when people were anti-labels. Now it's like collecting labels, like they're fucking Pokemon. Like I don't know, but they're definitely some adults who use them. Meet Bunny, Bun, uh -huh. Bunny. Hi, my name is Bunny, and I use bun pronouns. Bun pronouns are a form of neo pronoun. Outside of he and she pronouns, there's a whole world of neo pronouns that can be used. In my case, mine Left are based off of Bunny. So instead of she, her, hers, herself, it's bun, bun, buns, oneself. So the thing is. Okay. The problem that I have with the neo pronoun discourse is that it orients entirely around and is completely dictated by, 98% dictated by, embarrassing adolescents. And that's it. The broader discourse around neo-pronouns is completely orienting around embarrassing adolescents, like a black hole that sucks in everything around it, okay? 98% of the neo-pronoun shit you're going to see online is coming from embarrassing adolescents, all right? Now, is there some broader argument to be made about neo-pronouns? Now, now, Vosh, I don't entirely disagree with you. However, that problem is made worse when you only choose to engage with that side of the argument, right? This is the same problem, the exact same problem that trans people encountered just a few years ago. Think about it like this. If the only place that trans people get any visibility or opportunity to talk is on Tumblr, and the only people who ever get platformed are Tumblr teens who don't, who aren't very articulate, who aren't particularly good at the, making their arguments. Well, yes, yes, um, and uh, and 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 uh, and I think that, um, and I think that that's something that needs to be paid attention to, right? Because it is discourse is a two-way street it is who commentators decide to focus on and also who is doing the speaking okay so that's something that i think is important right um when we have an issue where people tend to fixate on the most outrageous examples and what the reason why I have a problem with this is because it's allowing conservatives to choose the battlefield. If you wanted to win a battle, would you let your opponent choose the battlefield or would you choose the battlefield in as many cases as possible? 
Yeah. We want to choose the battlefield, which means we can choose to have conversations that aren't about uh, the worst or, or the most difficult example of such and such thing. We want to choose it. We want to choose the battlefield. So if you do something, and we're gonna get we're gonna touch on this more, but I want you to pay attention to this, okay? How conservatives are effective at setting the battlefield and making us come to them as the left in general. Um a great example of this South Park making uh the the uh episode about people getting surgical, uh, surgically transitioned into dolphins. Do you remember that? Do you remember that horrifically bad, bad faith approach? They set the battlefield and people, instead of going, that is so fucking stupid. Here's what we're actually going to talk about. Here's how you actually teach people. Here's what trans issues are actually about. A lot of people chose to meet the South Park types on the battlefield that they chose. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. You do not have to meet conservatives on their battlefield. Make them have to come to us. And the thing is, now not everybody can do that, right? Small people on uh, who don't have any following on the internet can't necessarily deal with, like, can't necessarily influence that. But large content creators like Vosh can. Yes. So that's a small critique. I just want to be clear about all this, okay? I'm going to be real with you guys, okay? Honestly, you guys ready for it? I'll get canceled for this. Yeah. I do think that a lot of people who do this neo pronoun shit online are just trying to feel special. They're doing the same thing people do with mental illnesses, where people will lay out like 16 mental illnesses and then a bunch of alters that they have, where they're like their alt personality. Is like wait a second hold on a second hold on a second let's go back neo pronouns i'm be real with you guys okay honestly you guys ready for it i'll get canceled for this okay here we go yes you're gonna get canceled for it vosh here we go all right all right let us dispel the cancellation i demon mama the supreme canceler am slinging lightning bolts to cancel vosh for this take by offering pushback okay there we go we've made it funny i'm not canceling vosh okay I just have some pushback, all right? So let's fucking chill. Let's listen. We are officially perma-canceling Vosh forever. Here we go. Yeah, I do think that a lot of people who do this neo-pronoun shit online are just trying to feel special. They're doing the same thing people do with mental illnesses, where people will lay out like 16 mental illnesses and then a bunch of alters that they have, where they're like their alt personality is like a vampire person. But here's the quick follow-up, okay? The hot take, the hot follow-up, okay? Who cares? Jesus Christ. Okay. That's your God-given right, okay? That's your God-given fucking right to be an embarrassing adolescent, okay? God gave you that right. When you were born, you were endowed with the right to be that thing, okay? You can be an embarrassing adolescent. You can be, this is a hot, this is an advanced tactic. You can be an embarrassing not adolescent, you can continue to be embarrassing your whole life. I support you. You can be a not embarrassing adolescent. Challenge mode impossible. I believe in you, okay? Now, the broader... Okay, so... The overall take here, I don't think is entirely wrong, right? Okay? I don't think that Vosh is entirely wrong with this take. So, for example, in saying, who cares... He's right. Who, it's nobody's business, and it doesn't harm anyone, to, as far as I can tell, to have people do basically, I mean, most things like this online. However, by saying, I think a lot of these people are legitimately mentally ill, it is the your dad take, but there's a, a, there's a hypocrisy in Vosh's own argument here, okay? There is a... Uh, He's simultaneously saying that who cares, but also choosing to say, I think these people are mentally ill. And the reality is, though, that like just saying anybody who has a different view on the world or um, or whatever uh, is 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 a mentally ill person um, is is not good. I don't think that's a good thing to do. 
I, I think that it sets a bad precedent and it also contradicts the idea. I think he did call them ill. I, we can go back here. Look, let's listen again to Vosh here. Okay. Listen, look guys. Oh my God. Let's listen. You guys ready for it? I'll get canceled for this. Yeah. I do think that a lot of people who do this neo pronoun shit online are just trying to feel special. They're doing the same thing people do with mental illnesses, where people will lay out like 16 mental illnesses and then a bunch of alters that they have, where they're like, their alt personality is okay. like... So... <sighs> Let's talk about this, okay? Okay? Let's talk about this, okay? He's not calling them mentally ill. He's saying that some people are fetishizing neo-pronouns. But, but here's the problem, though. There is a problem, again, with meeting, uh, meeting conservatives at their battlefield. Okay? Right? Which is that you are essentially buying, you're biting into the straw man in order to defend a larger point. Right? The idea that like, oh yeah, they're fetishizing this or fet how do you know that? How do you, is it possible that that's the case? Sure, maybe. Um, is it possible uh, that people are over fetishizing, um, you know, mental illness or something? Maybe. Is it possible that trans people are fetishizing the experience of being trans? Uh-oh. Uh oh, 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 oh. Do you see where this goes wrong? Do you see where this goes wrong very quickly? It's a mistake. Okay? This is a mistake. And this is where I think that Vosh made a mistake in this analysis. Okay? It's very easy because it is, it is the argument I heard from Vosh today, and we're going to get into, is identical in structure, in function and in direction to the argument to functionally Blanchardism, okay? Let me remind everyone that every person who has a mental health diagnosis, summarizer rain, I'm gonna need you to shut the fuck up and sit down, but thank you for the 199. Appreciate the dono, but shut the fuck up and chill for a minute. Or if you wanna keep donoing in order to get your opinion heard, go for it. But um, hold on a second. Just, just everybody, oh, oh my God, listen. I don't believe that he meant to do any of this. I don't think that Vosh is like but plural phobic or anything along that. those lines. None of that is what I'm here for. I'm not fucking canceling. We're trying to get to the bottom of this, okay? And here's the problem, okay? Everybody who had a mental illness, who has a diagnosis for a mental illness was at one point undiagnosed and was also at one point self-diagnosed i'm serious in fact that is a good thing okay it is a good thing to be able to analyze your own brain to uh come to conclusions will some people will some people um do so poorly of course their competence is an issue across the board people can incorrectly self-diagnose themselves but at the end of the day the key political takeaway is that we have to self-diagnosis is essential to the process of actual medical diagnosis self-diagnosis is arguably more important and we should hope to encourage accurate and helpful self-diagnosis because how can you possibly get a diagnosis if you're unable to be aware of your own situation right do you know what that leads to a world in which only doctors can make declarations about your well well-being is a world of asylums and gatekeeping Yes, I can elaborate more on what I mean by self-diagnosis. For example, I figured out that I had BPD b long before I had a formal diagnosis for BPD. I diagnosed myself by enlightening myself and having some people enlighten me to patterns in my life that were 
identical to that of BPD. And what happened was, is I went, oh my God, I recognize these cycles in myself. And I said, wait a second, there's a name for this. And somebody might be able to help me with this. I diagnosed myself. And then I said, let's go talk to a doctor about this. And I started, once I figured out what problems I was struggling with, I was able to immediately start making positive changes in my life before I even talked to a doctor. Trans people always self-diagnose. Did you know that? In fact, arguably, that is the only way to be trans, right? We acknowledge that no one else gets to decide your de gender. You get to decide your gender, which means you are intrinsically self-diagnosing if you decide that you are trans. Now, I acknowledge that there are some differences between um, structural medicine, like saying, here is this medical uh, mental uh, you know, disorder that we have categorized, um, but... We don't really care about that most of the time, right? What we actually care about is, um, you know, what we actually care about is people getting the help they need, figuring out their own minds and living a better life for it. Now, I will agree that obviously, like, you know, there are certain circumstances in which, um, in which, uh, you know, it's important to have some level of structure or institutionalization or whatever. However, self-diagnosis is incredibly, incredibly important. And I think that uh, discouraging self-diagnosis in the name of denouncing a handful of potentially existent Tumblr people who maybe put a million things in their bio maybe so that they can win the uh, uh, oppression Olympics is a huge mistake, right? It is a mistake to give up the importance of self-diagnosis, to downplay the importance of self-diagnosis in the name of denouncing some random idiots on Tumblr or whatever, okay? I think that's a mistake, okay? Just like I think it's a mistake to pass up on sell on self id for trans people in the name of clamping down on so-called trans trenders we're gonna get there alias we'll get there it'll all tie together okay it is it is the same there is no difference between the trans trenders and this my problem with self-diagnosis is that i feel lessons to credibility doctors have in diagnosing uh like a doctor is really the main person who can diagnose no uh no it's not actually especially maybe in some alternate like future where okay doctors are universal okay and also um, that uh, are, and also uh, be benevolent all all through and through the reality is that most people cannot do not have access to diagnosis they do not have access to doctors they do not have access to good doctors with modern training instead they are left on their own so it is important for us to teach people how to self-diagnose and how to then find any further help if they need it. But the reality is, think about it like this. Think about it like this. Um, he, he, there's a couple of, of different things, right? Um, like, for example, imagine, I mean, think of how much of the world currently relies on people being able to self-diagnose things like COVID, right? They go, oh shit, I've got a fever, I'm coughing, I need to go get medical help because I have diagnosed with, with some level of certainty that I have the symptoms. A doctor has more expertise on that, which is why we generally take their diagnosis more, more seriously, but that doesn't mean that self-diagnosis isn't important. Self-diagnosis leads to self-treatment. Hot take, ready? Everybody's gonna cancel me for this one, ready? Ready? Now I'm gonna, here's the hot take. You're gonna cancel me for this one. You're gonna cancel me for this one. All of life is self-treatment. That is all that anybody ever does. All of their life is self-treatment. Ideally, we want people to self-treat with reason. 
with reason, okay? We don't want people to, to self-treat cancer because no person can do that. We want people to self-treat headaches. We want people to self-treat depression by exercising. Now, if it gets to the point where they can't do it themselves, they're supposed to seek help. And if you are treating yourself incorrectly, we would love you to be able to correct that. But the reality is a lot of life is developing healthy self-treatment. Don't perform surgery on yourself, but that's an example of something where surgery isn't the majority of what people deal with. The majority of what people deal with is, oh my God, I've got hemorrhoids. And they, what they should do is they should get some preparation H and a fucking shit stool. There you go. Bam. Oh my God, I have a rash. Okay. Put some cream on it. D you know, keep it dry. Take care of yourself. Now, there are obviously extremes of this. We don't want people to avoid. We don't want people to avoid going to experts, but people avoid going to experts when they are scared of experts. And the best way to guarantee that people are scared of experts is by making experts evil gatekeepers who wait for you to walk in and go, yes, I'm sorry. You don't qualify for help. You'll have to die in the streets. We don't want, you don't want your fucking doctor looking like this motherfucker, okay? You don't want your, your fucking doctor. If you walk into your doctor, okay? And this is who you see, okay? You walk into your fucking doctor and this dude is like, oh yeah, your leg hurts? I don't believe you, go die. If you walk in and this motherfucker is your doctor, you're never going to go to the doctor when you need it. Imagine if you, imagine if you, wait a second, hold on. I got another thing. Ready? Ready? Imagine if you are struggling with depression, okay? And you you know you can't handle it yourself anymore your 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 approachment your approach to it isn't working and you want to seek out help and the only guy that you can find is a is a guy in a in a with a with a million plaques on his wall and a huge suit and a big bushy beard and when you come in he gives you a stern look and goes have you been drinking your water lately hmm. you say you're depressed yet you smiled the other day that seems suspicious. Well, guess what? That is the reality for trans people, mentally ill people, and a lot of people who are suffering from physical disabilities. Okay? That is the experience. Because as it turns out, institutional gatekeeping focus of finding out who is the, the true sufferers is a really bad way of approaching things okay and i recognize by the way just so you know i recognize that vosh was not intent like this wasn't vosh was not making an argument in favor of these things but this is why i am challenging his take on this because i think his take even though it doesn't seem like it does ultimately contribute to this approach with regard to plural folks we'll get there a bit further okay Yes, in fact, that's happening constantly, D, D plus, and it's gotten better over the years. We're making progress, okay? So we're going to keep going, and we're going to talk about some other things as this goes on, okay? Sorry, I this is going to be a lot of ranting and whatever. Isn't it important to understand why things happen? Yes, but that is not in conflict with what we're talking about here. Yes, I know. Yes, I agree. Yes, that happens all the time on Yashi. I've had friends with their depression shrugged off because they lack the social skills to communicate their feelings, probably when suicidal. Do you want to know why that is? That's because a lot of times people, uh, they, they write off uh, children, cringiness. They write those things off as uh, degenerate and hilarious as opposed to potentially just an an, an abnormal way of communicating.
Anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. Yes, it is, Cat, Cat, Kate Qua. I Yes, it is. That is what it's like. I am ignoring the dangers of self-diagnosis in psychology. There are a lot of bias phenomena, like stereotyping threat, so people might label themselves and then adapt more of the behaviors. Do you want me to blow your mind? Do you want me to blow your mind? Doctors also do that all the time. I'm sorry. Doctors do this shit all the time. Did you know that a short 20 years ago, we met most trans people would have been diagnosed under Blanchard's dichotomy? Blanchard's dichotomy, which alleged that there were two types of trans people, fake perverts and actual trans people. Actual trans people liked men and were pretty and fake perverts were disgusting and didn't shave because they didn't actually care. That was the medical standard for diagnosis for trans people, okay? This uh, ceaseless worship of the ivory tower is foolish, okay? And that's not to say that I'm anti-intellectual. That's not to say that science and, and understanding isn't, isn't important, but you have to be willing to acknowledge the risks of putting all the power in the hands of a single gatekeeper. It is very risky, okay? And that that's not even, yes, and Lucid Days brings up a good point, which is not even to mention that doctors often have ideological biases themselves. Jessica Metal, have you ever visited a psychiatrist? They treat patients like guinea pigs in order to find the right psych meds for patients because of how wildly different they work on each person. Yep, I know. It's kind of anti-intellectual take. Yeah, medical fat phobia. Thank you, Vermin. Thank you. Medical fat phobia is... This is that case in point. Case in fucking point. It's an a in America, medical fat phobia is so bad that there is studied, demonstrated phenomena that fat people get worse medical care because their doctors are so inundated with fat phobia that they won't listen to them. Thank you, Vermin. I I I I had a feeling that you would be a voice of reason on this, okay? We're going to get there, YOLO Hobbit, okay? We're going to get there. All right, ready? I have another story for you. And some of you have heard this story. Um, some of you have heard this story already. And it is an anecdote. But I, I don't believe that this is... Uh, I, 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 I don't believe that this is a rare story, okay? When I first came out to my parents, my parents forced me to go to a Christian therapist, Okay? Um, and when I went to that Christian therapist, that Christian therapist who was accredited, by the way, had a nice wall of, of certificates. They were, they were legally allowed to practice. That Christian therapist recommended that I wait until I'm 30 to revisit trans issues. Okay. I'm not kidding you. They would not write me letters until I was 30. I am 30 now. If you, if I had listened to that gatekeeper, that licensed gatekeeper's advice right now, I, well, first of all, I wouldn't be streaming, but right now you would not be listening to Demon Mama. You would be listening to something else, some other person. Okay. Some other person who would be a horrible larval version of myself. Nah, that's that's creepy, jazz dog. Oof, I, it squicks me out. Nah, but I mean, I get it. Maybe, maybe it would be, but probably not. Realistically, the demon part was a was a response to me going forward. Doctors are human, and they can be wrong. Just so you know, doctors are not the only people who collect data, and doctors who believe that they are the only ones, doctors who believe that they are the only ones who can make calls about a patient's internal mental processes are fools. They are 
The Bachelor at the beginning of Pathologic 2, okay? They are The Bachelor at the beginning of Pathologic 2, okay? They really are. But lots of doctors believe that, Lava Monster. Lots of them do. Let's continue, okay? Let's continue. I've made my point. Like a vampire person? But here's the quick follow-up, okay? The hot take, the hot follow-up, okay? Who cares? Jesus Christ. That's okay, Chloe. Don't That's worry. That's your God-given right, okay? That's your God-given fucking right to be an embarrassing adolescent, okay? God gave you that right. When you were born, you were endowed with the right to be that thing, okay? You can be an embarrassing adolescent. You can be, this is a hot, this is an advanced tactic. You can be an embarrassing not adolescent. You can continue to be embarrassing your whole life. I support you. You can be a not embarrassing adolescent. Challenge mode impossible. I believe in you, okay? Now, the broader discourse around neo-pronouns, unfortunately, Me we too, have to Vermin. agree on one common thing, okay? Most neo-pronouns don't serve the same purpose as regular pronouns. Do you know why? Because the purpose of pronouns is to simplify an item by referring to it by a pronoun rather than a name. But neo-pronouns are basically just nicknames. There are so many of them, and people just invent them for themselves, they become nicknames. Like that tree person. It's basically just a nickname, okay? They don't serve the, the functional utility of a, ne of a pronoun, because the job of a pronoun is to avoid using a name, you know? Okay. So, again, I don't entirely agree. So, now we're going to talk about a little bit of neo-pronouns. And I'm going to explain why I don't agree with Vosh here, okay? First of all, pronouns serve multiple purposes, okay? Um, multiple purposes, okay? Um, in some ways, pronouns are about smoothing out language now there are languages that don't really use pronouns by the way um but at the end of the day language um is is very very abstract okay here's a secret okay language is fucked beyond all recognition if you want to understand what language looks like if you could zoom out and you could see all of language do you know what it would look like it would look like the bottom of a garbage can after it's been sitting in the hot sun for a year there is bacteria growing, creatures rising out of it. A mushroom is growing up out and possibly spraying spores into the sky. It is the most, language is the most Lovecraftian nonsense. And pedants suck, okay? Now, we can all acknowledge that there is good writing and bad writing but the sad truth is that most of that is very subjective very very subjective and do you want to know um oh well then here i will do my absolute best vermin to use it it's i will do my absolute best um i will do my best and uh no don't oh okay i won't then all right never mind no, okay i won't fine okay my apologies uh i didn't mean to jump the gun um uh where was i at oh okay okay, okay. um languages languages are are maddening and what is most important about language, and I say this as somebody who has written professionally, who has self-published a book, my entire life is devoted to communication. Language is much more, what is most important about language is this right here. Ready? This. Right here. What you are looking at on the screen right now is what is most important about language. Being able to connect with another person. 
okay? Being able to connect with, an, with other people is what is most important about language, but that is a very difficult process. Some languages don't even use the same structures as others. It is being able to connect and, and hold on with other people and, and communicate your ideas over to theirs. Uh, people can in a, in a bit, Ziggy. I'll debate after this. I'll debate after this. It's very subjective. And so when I say that pronouns have multiple purposes, they really do. For some people, pronouns are nothing more than a, a simple shortening, functionally a nickname. Um, you know, functionally a nickname. Um, God, thank you very much, Snoppinson. So yes, uh, 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 telepathy would be incredible. Already, so um, we don't need to deal some with people all this language use shit. pronouns just as basically a nickname that you shorten for the purpose of making communicating easier. Other people see pronouns as a very serious matter of personal expression. Most trans people fall into that second category. And the reason for that is because in English, in English, pronouns indicate your gender and gender, which is stupid, but that's how it works. And so trans people care a lot about pronouns because pronouns are a way that other people can impose identity on a trans person. Okay. There are languages that are genderless. There are languages that are genderless, which is pretty cool. I recognize that. G pronouns do not necessarily mean gender inherently, but in English, they're very loaded, which is why it's a big issue in English. Other languages don't have... Um... Oh, cool. If you do the okay handshake with the fingers, that's amazing. Thank you, she who knows no name. Thank you. Um, but yeah, uh... Pronouns in English are very important for that reason, okay? So, and then there's a third point, okay? Ready? There's a third point. And I've talked about this before, and I'm going to talk about it again. A third way that people use pronouns, and this isn't uncommon, but it is probably the least common of all three of these. The first is the most common. Most people don't ever think about pronouns. And there's a lot of people who do because they recognize that pronouns are being used to determine their identity. That's what trans people experience, many trans people and non-binary folks. Then there are third people who recognize that pronouns are an arbitrary construct that in our society, specifically in America, are utilized politically to control other people. Okay? And this is true. They are correct with that. They are correct. If people who try... To people who, when I go on a panel and I say, hi, my name is Demon Mama, she, her pronouns, and somebody chooses explicitly to use he, him for me, they are attempting to control me. They are attempting to exert their will. And some people recognize this and say, we should resist this. And that is a lot of people who fall into the category of people who would use things like fey fair, who would use things like bun bun, zizer. The neo pronouns often fall into this category because it is a, a political resistance to being defined by other people, which is fair. I think that we can identify with that. Did the they them thing? I don't know what you mean by the they them thing. You mean like, uh, well, people might not have known. Like, listen, they, listen. Uh, okay, hold on a second. We'll, we'll communicate. We like to think about, we, we all agree that def being able to define yourself is a good thing, especially on something as messy as, uh, we can talk about it if you need to, if there's an issue. Just, you know, people, when there's a lot of chatting going on, people might miss pronouns. It's possible, okay? Um, and this is a political tool that some people choose. And then there's a fourth category, a secret fourth category, okay? And the fourth category is people who don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They have no idea what they're doing. They don't entirely understand the process, but they jump on somewhere on board. And those people exist. And guess what? 
they're a hyper minority. And those are the people that often get like blown up for being cringe, right? Those are the people who like, they just don't necessarily, they haven't figured it all out yet. They're maybe experimenting, but we shouldn't make, and here's the, here's the thrust, okay? We shouldn't make our arguments based off of trying to counter a fourth category. It isn't harmful. It isn't harmful. They aren't harmful. They don't cause harm. There is no harm that's caused. It is, it is the harm that is caused is conservatives targeting vulnerable people. That's the problem. The, this is exactly the same as trans, the trans trender. It is no different than the trans trender discourse. No different at all. What the, you know, trans people who like denounce trans trenders and they're like, oh, I'm a real trans, unlike them. Those people are wrong because they're ceding ground to conservatives. They're othering somebody who didn't do anything wrong in order to appease conservatives who are trying to control others. Does that make sense? Do you, does, is this, I hope I'm being clear. It doesn't matter, Radept. It doesn't matter. That's none of your business. That is none of your business and none of any of our business. Radept says, is it productive for people using neo pronouns? Does that really help them figure anything out? Who cares? That's them. That's for them to decide and for us to shut the fuck up about. Okay. We don't want to appease hateful, controlling assholes at the cost of denouncing harmless uh, cringers, okay? That makes no sense. It's a strategic miscalculation. And that's what that's one of my critiques of Vosh here. It's a strategic miscalculation. And you know what else? You want to know what else? Like I said before, it's based to be cool. It's based to defend people who don't deserve to be shit on, even if you think they're cringe. It is based to pick up a sword and a shield and say, nah, fuck you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna appease these motherfucking evil assholes by picking on somebody, uh, some random person who's not hurting anybody on the internet. Cringe culture, like the, the, the cringe culture thing is trash. And I think that Vosh, I don't think he was intending it. I'll restate this again and again and again. But I do think that Vosh unintentionally stepped into cringe culture there. And we'll get into this. I know that I know it changes a little more. So let's continue. I know this is a broad, big brain. I'm fucking blowing up everybody's heads, okay? Let's continue. The, so in a broad sense, I think that this is largely a hedge issue. And all the people who are going to get super mad over this as though neo-pronouns are the crux of some sort of broader civil rights movement are super cringy and super online. And please, God, get involved and do something real for trans people. Um, please, please, God, I love God. Get the the, so in a broad sense, I think that this is largely a hedge issue. And all the people who are going to get super mad over this as though neo-pronouns are the crux of some sort of broader civil rights movement are super cringy and super online. And please, God, get involved. And do something real for trans people. Um, please, please, God. Well, I'm not getting super triggered, to be fair. Um, but what I will say is that I just think this is uncharitable. Right here, I think this is this is just uncharitable. I don't think, first of all, uh, first of all, sorry, Vosh. This is going to be my first personal call out of you. Sorry, Vosh. I know you won't like this, but you got triggered, dude. Dude, you were getting triggered by chat. Nobody was even, nobody was freaking out on you in chat. I was there. Nobody was saying shit to you. You got like a little bit of pushback and then you're like, people who are freaking out. Nah, come on, dude, relax. It's fine. People can give you pushback. It's good. You're debatey boy. You're good. They're not fucking freaking out over it. People give mild pushback. Wait, and this is why, I, this is a part, part, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know I, I said I was going to be a little mean, but, um, but what I'm going to say here is that this is this is a little bit like when conservatives go like, if you say the wrong pronouns, you'll be hunted in the streets. Come on. No, you won't. People might be like, I don't really like your I don't really like your take on it. Come on. That's not so bad. Relax. Relax. Don't 
but do you see this is the problem? And this is why I'm doing this critique right now. The problem is that when you bite into the conservative straw man, when you fail to understand the issue and you put forward an argument on it, you unintentionally behave like they do. And I know he didn't mean it. And by the way, again, I know I'm, I'm trying to be cool here because I don't want to piss off people to, who misinterpret me. I'm the most misinterpreted person on the fucking internet. Everybody thinks I'm being a bitch and whatever. I'm trying not to be a bitch here, okay? But like, we, come on. Like, don't do it. Don't, don't fall into that. Don't fucking fall into that thing, you know? Everybody gets a little triggered. I've gotten triggered, okay? It's okay. Listen. It's okay to be wrong. It's okay to fuck up. There you go. And by the way, just so we all know, just so we're clear about this, I do personally believe that Vosh is one of the most ardent defenders of trans rights online. I do believe that. So. Yeah, I know, Vermin. I don't know what the reason is for that. I can't psychoanalyze that, but I've done that before. I've done that before. Oh, I'm sure. Let him come, Silax. I'll slay him all again. I've done it before. Couldn't respond when you said it, but I agreed that I felt like Vosh was considering the conservative perspective when giving us his take. Um, like, it's good when discussing optics, but we're not when we're discussing the very validity of something. Otherwise, we're essentially arguing my enemy will use this against me, therefore it should be hidden rather than just defending it. Yes, I agree, Blue. I agree with that take. Um, am I afraid of retaliation from Vosh? No. No. See, the funny thing is, I just respect Vosh, okay? That's it. I don't like to be overly, like, wait a minute, hold on a second. I did the same thing with Xander Hall, and I did this exact same thing when I criti critiqued, um, when I critiqued SDL. I've done this exact same thing when I critique other people that I respect. I try to be charitable, and I am taking, uh, I am taking advice from the people who have given me fair, um, you, you know, fair, trigger with my pushback, what, what's the word? Fair treatment? I don't know, whatever fuck um we'll we'll get there we'll get there we're get we're gonna get there okay i did get a little triggered but that part of that's the fun summarizer rain it's all good I, I got a little triggered but but thanks for the donos anyway it's mostly just me goofing around and honestly i'll be completely honest it was partially because you have the copium pepe and i saw the copium pepe and i went oh okay i see where this is going okay um where the fuck where the fuck are we i don't even remember all right let's get back to the take okay let's get back to the take Okay, I'll do that in a bit, Ziggy. God, I love you, please. Um, but uh, people have a right to do this stuff, okay? Which is why there's, and as far as I'm concerned, really no excuse for criticizing neo-pronouns and their usage uh, unless people are being annoying, in which case you're criticizing them for being annoying and not for the neo-pronoun stuff. Does that make sense? Oh, like, I remembered what I was going to say. You want to know what? I'm going to use Vosh's own words. Do you remember what Vosh said? Does everybody remember when Vosh said that he wants a strong left? Remember? Everybody remember that? When Vosh said he wants a strong left with strong arguments? It's not strong to pander to the conservatives' battlefield. It isn't strong. Stride forward and Giga Chad. Yes, neo pronouns are based. Giga Chad, plural people are valid. Right? Fuck it. We don't need to play nice with these people. And guess what? You don't actually fail at advocating to the conservatives. The secret is to reach conservatives and convince them with a strong argument, not pander and trick them into your side. A conservative, in my opinion, at least, um, you know, at least in, in, uh, in, in my mind, a conservative will be more likely to be convinced if they hear a strong, unapologetic, and respectful take about how actually there is validity to neo pronouns there is validity to trans people there is validity to plural people then they will if you go well yeah those guys are cringe but fuck them 
right? Strong left. Strong left. Let's continue. Oh, boomers are boomers. Am I that are, bad are, at um, age? We'll talk about it. That bun person looked kind of old, not adolescent. Well, I wasn't talking just specifically about them, though. I would bet they're probably trans, and trans people go through two adolescences. So. <laughs> oh, what? What? Th that's not what it means. That's not what you can't. That's a. Excuse me? The double puberty joke? That's ours. That's ours, Vosh. Vosh, I'm assigning you to have to take two days worth of estrogen pills in order to, 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 to sweat out that joke. He can't keep getting away with it! That's a trans person's joke! It's ours! You can't steal that one, you bastard! That's it. Two days in the, in the estrogen mines. In you go! In! There we go. Let's continue. Trans people have an extended uh, uh, life period. Hold on. Vosh, you've accidentally shit all over an actual psychological disorder. People with alters usually have... Quick question. I need a, uh, I need a, I need a mod. I need some mods in, in YouTube chat. We need at least one mod in YouTube chat. Uh, there's some people that need to be cleared out. Let's continue. Disassociative Thank identity you. disorder and can't really help it. I'm really sorry, and I apologize oh, sorry, if Ziggy. this comes off as I'll really crass, that. but no. Type in Maybe chat, Ziggy, and I'll fix it. people who say they have alters yeah. actually do, okay? I'm really, 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 really sorry. Okay, now this is where I'm going to have a lot of, this is where I'm going to have a lot of, um, of, of criticisms for Vosh, because this is where I tuned in shortly after this, and we're going to, we're going to jump in on this, okay? We're going to, we're going to, we're going to talk extensively about this, because I do not agree with this take, Okay. And I'll tell you why. Psychological disorder. People with alters usually have disassociative identity disorder and can't really help it. I'm really sorry, and I apologize if this comes off as really crass, but no. Maybe 1% of the people who say they have alters actually do, okay? I'm this, Vosh, this is lefty misinfo. You don't know this. You don't even know. This is a hyperbolic, ridiculous statement that is actually... I would argue this is not a this is a bad argument. And this is where I'm going to critique Vosh. This that is bad. <laughs> One percent of all trans people are actually trans. They're the real ones. That is unironically indistinguishable from Blanchard era arguments. It is indistinguishable. Okay, it is the same thing. Saying that eh, probably only one percent of all plural people are actually plural. Uh, only 1% of people who say they have DID are actually DID? Not good. Not good. I don't like that. Vosh, take it to the fucking workshop. That ain't a good one. Sorry. I think that's a weak, I think that's a weak argument. Weak. I'm really, 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 really sorry. But the fact that, um, the, uh, mental... Don't ping, don't ping vermin. Don't ping ver Listen, I'm sorry. Don't ping vermin about Vosh's takes. What did I say? Vermin is their own vermin. Okay? Don't be a fucking weirdo. Let's continue. Illness has been made an aesthetic online. Is a problem worth talking about? Also, I disagree with this. I think that this is, once again, once again... Not correct. This is ceding ground to the conservatives. Okay? This is ceding ground to conservatives, in my opinion. By saying that uh, mental illness has been fetishized online, no. No, 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 no. That is, once again, indistinguishable from people who argue late-onset gender dysphoria. It is the same argument it's the same core argument like Lonnie hi great to see you Lonnie um Um, we're just take we're doing some critique of, of a Vosh stream that, that had a lot of people talking this morning, and I feel like we could we could talk about it meaningful. Um 
this is not so great in my opinion because here's the thing the idea that like there's been an aestheticization online of mental illness is not true that is just not true there may be there may be a yes yeah, cis medicalism we're going to talk about cis medicalism yeah um but but the problem here is that this is simply not true it is like verifiably not true our society does not clap you on the back for being open about your mental illnesses. It is not slightly true. It is not even remotely true. Okay? Do you want to know? Let me tell you something. Okay, everybody? Ready? I'm going to I'm gonna level with you. And I'm going to level with Vosh here. Because I care about Vosh. And I like his takes. And I care about this issue a lot. Okay, ready? Do you know how nervous I get every single time I talk about my mental health on this platform? Do you know how nervous I get? Like, I actually get scared and can say every single time I have brought up on stream t talking about the fact that I have BPD and you can even see my hand shaking you can see my hand shaking right now um because every single time I talk about it I know that there is a chance that this that that very stream will be clipped and used against me in the future to be like, yeah, look at this, look at this fucking beeper bitch. Because it is. Mental illness is weaponized against people. There is no aestheticization of mental of mental illness. Maybe you could argue in the tiniest, coziest, safe space corners of the internet, there is uh, some quote-unquote romanticization there is absolutely a romanticization of mental illnesses among many many te many teenagers online just because it's not systemic or wholly positive doesn't mean that it doesn't exist kissy time i'd love you to prove that i would love you to actually prove it outside of like a handful of little groups of tum of sad tumblr baby teens who are going to grow out of it i think that you're just wrong I think you're just wrong. Yeah, but those are tiny pockets. People do all kinds of silly things. Hold on a second, kissy time. I want everybody to just, I just, I just, I just want everybody to think for a second about the shit that you talked about with your friends around the bonfire. I don't know if you were like me when I was a kid in rural, in rural New England, we would do bonfires we would bring a shitty guitar out by the fire. You know, maybe we'd have some beers uh, if we got some. Sit by the fire and you chit chat about stupid shit, like how you think that God, that God sent you your latest crush because you're like, oh my God, she's so hot. I think like I think God is blessing me with this hot girl like in my life, and I hope that God will help me not embarrass myself. You know, like come on. Like, children talk about the stupidest shit all the time. It's part of growing up. You know that helicopter parenting and helicopter and societal helicopter pa parenting is, um, is so stupid? Like, it, it, it stunts people. People need to talk to one another and say stupid shit and experiment and grow. It is so important. It is actually really important. Yeah, there are limits you know, but it is really super important. And what happens on now in, in the internet age, we're all, it's all public because of the way that it is, um, because of the way the internet's set up. So like those bonfire conversations aren't happening anymore. Those late nights, half falling asleep after watching 12 hours of the office with your friend or 12 hours of SpongeBob or 12 hours of the angry video game nerd or playing Call of Duty lobbies for 14 hours straight while pounding Mountain Dew. And then you both talk like, come on, those things don't happen. We just have to everyone. It, it happens all over the place now discord. But that's a good thing. Discord is less private. People are having less private con less less public i mean it's more less public they're having less public conversations and they're able to express themselves and grow i'm doing the drinking from the hose when i was your age no i'm just saying that like we have to grow and evolve with the times right and i'm challenging vosh is one of the is 
possibly one of the greatest content creators in the politics spaces right now. And I want to challenge him to remember some of these things when he's talking about this, because I don't think that it's fair to fixate on some kids who are trying to figure things out or whatever. Okay, the government and corporations have always done that, by the way. Just so you know, unfortunately. It's gotten worse, but yeah. I do watch Cinema. I love Cinemasker. By the way, I've met James Rolfe twice. Person I've personally Being met James Rolfe twice. On the internet is hell. You get constantly yeah. downplayed because I have a lot of respect for James Rolfe. You can't function on any meaningful Even though, level. look, listen, we'll, we'll talk about that anyway. People shouldn't be fixated on the in internet actions of children, okay? I don't think mental illness is romanticized online, but some aspects of mental illness, drug abuse is romanticized by people who don't understand it. And I've experienced it as someone with mental illness. Yes, but I think that that is an outlier and should not be the rule. That is, in my opinion, the outlier and shouldn't be the rule. And we certainly shouldn't craft our uh, advocacy and our arguments based around those outliers. Mental illness Twitter bios? Who cares? If people find, if people think that that's fine, that's fine. They're probably just trying to find. Yeah, but it, it's, but it's, very, but Vermin, I agree that there are some people who maybe romanticize certain types of mental illness, but I think that that is more of a, that is a very small issue in comparison. Like it is ridiculously small in comparison to. A society that literally ruins, systemically ruins every mentally ill person's life. And again, we shouldn't meet conservatives on their shitty battlefield. I mean, but Vermin, you also engage in like, like, but, but, and no offense, I'm not trying to make an argument with you, Vermin, but you're a, you're a Discord mod. Of course you're going to be exposed to a lot of it. That's like being a Discord mod in a, like, a largely Zoomer community means basically it's like it's like being a, a school counselor you're obviously going to encounter a lot of stuff like that it's true i'm not kidding you being a discord mod with a lot of zoomers is 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 like being is like being a school counselor you're going to you're going to be exposed to an undo like like the average person out there will never ever see even a fraction of how much you see you're going to see it all but yeah it's a very online issue. This is nothing I've ever seen IRL. Like, and the thing is, when it does occur, it's one conversate, one individual conversation away. I right? Think it's less Most of these people are looking for companionship. Hedgehog dilemma. Like Remember, hedgehog dilemma. Remember? Uh, throwback, throwback one. to the beginning of the stream. Hedgehog dilemma. People are reaching out to find others. Let me tell you a story from my own life, okay? If anything, mental illness I'll tell you a story from my own life, okay? Nowadays. I once people knew someone autism as an insult or a way who was a teenager. Belittling people. Okay. All bad people have a mental and illness they sort of thing. believed that they were a vampire. And they began with their partner doing some stuff that's not healthy okay not healthy do you want to know what my response was do you want to know what my response was i told them that i was an elder vampire and i said listen you don't know this but i am an elder vampire and what i need to tell you is that you cannot give in to unhealthily uh licking blood okay that's not the way that we go about it you must overcome your hunger and you must be responsible otherwise you could spread disease and i understand that it's hard i understand that that you might find that difficult but i need you to understand that blood can have contagions you can't you can't just do that and elder vampires understand this. You might not. And guess what? They took my advice. They stopped doing unhealthy things. And they got over it. In time.
It was that easy. It was that simple. And I could have done, I could have done this. The alternative that I could have done was I could have gone, what? You fucking, you think you're a fucking vampire? Wow, okay, cringe lord. Why don't you just go get some disease? Meeting people where they're at, and 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 there's other approaches. You don't have to become like a like like you don't have to be like what I did. Like I did that because I understood I knew that person very well and they were very convinced about this thing and I figured that minimizing harm was more important than lying about whether or not I'm a vampire or not. Okay. But most of the time, that's not really all that important. Yeah? Most of the time, you can just say, look, I understand where you're coming from, and I don't think you're wrong, but please, you know, do it healthily. Guy you have to, to think doctor. about it. He's naked but wrapped in I know, I know, I know, Doc I know. Says, Hexagram, well, I, I know. I, I got you. Nuts. I got you covered, I promise. Don't worry. And again, this is very rare. Yeah, it's way chiller than people think, Vermin Hands. I agree. Well, I didn't have the demon. Uh, I didn't have the demon stuff. Well, I wasn't really on board the demon train at that time yet. I mean, I was into it, but I didn't have like a persona or anything. Sure, I'm not a vampire. I don't know. You'll never know. People lie all the time, as we learned from the pathologic review. Let's continue. Oh no, there are people who are gonna disagree with this. Th yeah, disassociative identity disorder is an incredibly rare condition. Do you think it's a coincidence that the overwhelming representation of that uh, like condition are like cringy 14 year olds online and their alters are anime characters? Come on. Come on. Do you want to know why that is? Do you want to know why that is, Vosh? That is for the exact same reason that the overwhelming representation of trans people online is cringy uh older non-passing trans people in an anime outfit exact same reason because malicious actors are targeting potentially vulnerable people in a bad faith attempt to control the narrative and you're doing it for them you're helping them with this you're helping them with this i'm sorry a little bit I don't feel like you're destroying anything or like you should be canceled, but you're helping them a little bit. Okay. And no, no, no. I could talk to a doctor or a psychologist and get the same take here. Nah, nah, nah. I could talk to a doctor or a psychologist and get the exact same take about how trans people are. There are two different types of trans people, paraphiliac trans people and true trans people. Exact same argument. Identical. It is identical. There's no difference. Vosh, unironically, how could you know that? All right, we're going to come up with the harsher take now since you're prompting it for me. I think that you guys are doing real damage and a real dis... Okay, Vosh, this is where I regret. Ah, this is where I regret. Look, do you, look at how nice I was winding up to this. Remember how I had the whole conversation about, about, uh, about harm? No, I'm going to pause it. I'm going to pause it. Come on. I had a whole conversation about harm because I, partially because I knew this was the case. No, they're not, Vosh. You are wrong. You are dead wrong. They are not harming anything. Do you want to know who's harming? Do you want to know who's harming? Conservatives. It is hateful conservatives, Nazis, weird stalkers, lol cow farms. Those are the people who are harming. Not random people on the internet who uh, have Kingdom Hearts altars or whatever. Those people, you might not like them, you might think they're cringe or whatever, but they're not harming anything. They're not doing anything. It is the genocidal, controlling, hierarchical, traditionalistic maniacs who constantly hunt down literal children on the internet to farm for clicks that are doing harm. 
Remember how I had this whole conversation about harm and how I didn't want you all to cancel Vosh because that's stupid and he and harm is done all the time unintentionally. Right now, Vosh is doing is not giving other people the charitability that I gave him. Well, I mean it's like it's like a time thing, Yay, but fuck that. that. Was a disingenuous the reason why authority. I want to talk about that is because I don't think either Vosh nor these people that he's talking about necessarily are doing harm. Nece okay, I think they're doing... There's always harm. It's impossible to avoid some harm. But that's the wrong focus. And we all know it. And I know Vosh knows this too. I know Vosh knows this too. Okay? I know... I know he knows this. We would not say that cringy trans people are harming trans advocacy. Which, by the way, just so that you all know, is a allegation that has been predominantly labeled on me. I am more known online for being harmful to the trans cause than anything else because I have been alleged to be a cringy, screeching SJW, uh, pe uh, what was the term, uh, pervert who didn't think about gender. That is what most people online know about me. And that is a numerical fact. So if you would think if if you would say that Destiny was being cringe by saying that that about me, why would you replicate that? Why would you put it, it's literal victim blaming is what it is. Sorry, it just is. And by the way, I want to bring up something because there is room, by the way. There is room. Um to uh there is room to to argue that that advocates are harming what they're advocating for i don't believe that it's impossible for advocates to not harm but you have to have the evidence of it so for example great example great example when i when i yelled at, at vegans i think that there is a good case to be made about vegans harming their own advocacy by walking into chats and going, yeah, nice murder sandwich bro but I don't think that there is a good case to be made that a a hyper minority of people on Tumblr who, for one reason or another, have fic fictional al alters are harming the advocacy for DID folks or anybody. I think that is a a not um, a, a that is a not accurate argument. Hence why I'm challenging it. Service to people who have actual psychological disorders by enabling and by refusing to engage in an introspection over the extent to which people have aesthetized mental illness. I think that people who have real mental illnesses or people who struggle with real issues should be given enough dignity and courtesy to not have their, um, their issues turn into fucking ideas. I think that trans people who are dealing with actual suffering, trans people who are miserable about the state of their bodies should be given the dignity and not equated to cringy, LARPing, fake trans people. Uh-oh. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, uh-oh. Uh the problem has been revealed, hasn't it? Hasn't it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And this is another thing. You want to know another thing why this why this particular take irked me? Because Vosh unintentionally shot his own arguments against Blair in the foot. Vosh shot his own argument against Blair in the foot by doing the same thing Blair did, but on a different issue. Oops. We all make mistakes. But that's a mistake. That's an honest mistake identities on a, on a Twitter bio that just get thrown out there as part of some smorgasbord of a confused teenager's self-perception, okay? Now, it doesn't mean teenagers can't have real disassociative identity disorder, and it doesn't mean that you can't have disassociative identity disorder while also being a cringy teenager. That's totally possible. But also, this is, this is, this is how I would react if I, if I wasn't, like, if I didn't care as much, but who, who the fuck are you? 
Didn't you start this segment by saying you don't know much about DID? Who the fuck are you to determine who is and who isn't an actual, somebody with actual DID? Like, what? Who, are you, you're a sociologist. You're not a fucking psychologist. Right? What the fuck? Like, come on, we need to be real about this, okay? Yeah, the Gen Z habit of self-diagnosing with incredibly rare conditions and disorders has been a thing for like a while. This is this is studied even. I'm pretty sure the bias in I'd love to see it. Cite it. Self uh self diagnosing is something that um Cite it. Uh has been largely um uh studied. And I don't know. I don't have disassociative identity disorder, but if I did and I like looked it up online and looked up alters and stuff like that, and I saw that the entire community of people talking about it online were like cringy 14 year olds gotcha, with pit crew Twitter profile pics talking about how they're alt. Net looks TV. Give me the paper. Oh, yeah. I don't know that individual summarizer rain, but yes. Give me the paper. Give me the paper. If you got a paper on it, Netlux, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like you're backpedaling already. Thanks for the $5 uh, super chat. Really appreciate that, Summarizer Rain. Her is Sephiroth, and he needs the Keyblade or whatever? Like, no, I don't know. Keep See, but again, and here. How is this? How is what Vosh did here any different? How is this any different? How is this any different than being like, than when Blair puts an ugly trans person on the screen and goes, you want that to be your representative? <sighs> Come on, that is nasty. You want someone like me. It is identical. It is the same argument, exact same argument. I'm sorry, it's something that irked me. It's not any different. It's the same thing. It's the same exact argument. It's a medicalist ap approach. Thank you. I'll, I'll check that, that in a from, second, uh, Ziggy. Final no, not Final Fantasy. That's from Kingdom Hearts, right? Um, Vosh, I'm in a server with a few people who, uh, with very active heavy alters, they hate people who fake uh, disassociative identity disorder. Yeah. yeah. I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a server with a whole bunch of trans people who really hate those fake trans trenders. That was easy. I don't even barely have to change the words. We're going to get it's, here. It's We're going I have another take to do. Hold on. Vosh, where are you seeing those bios? Don't you can go look around if you want. Vosh, 2 to 5% of all Americans have disassociative disorders. Not disassociative identity disorder, though, which is the one that we're talking about. A disassociative disorder is a wide umbrella, isn't it? Under which a number of conditions can fall. Um, yeah. How rare is this? It's not, no. Vosh is not actually bad, you idiots. You fucking idiots. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't make me get triggered. No, Vosh is not bad. Vosh had a bad take. Can you people fucking... Oh my god. One bad take. Fucking stop it. You people. Holy shit. Unironically. It is it is splitting. Well, I don't know if it's actual splitting, but just chill, okay? Pro I promise you, listen, if me, the bitch with BPD, is telling you to stop fucking s fucking black and white thinking, you need to fucking cool it. I'm enabling these people go off and being dumb fucks? What? Nuts. Are you... What?
no disassociative disorders are the umbrella. Well, the extent to which um, estimates on its prevalence of DID vary widely. Studies show it can affect anything from 0.01% of people to 15% of people. Oh my, 0.01% to 15% is a is a range of... Uh, yes, Suza, Suza Q, I think Vosh Chat was egging him on. They're hounding him to ban anyone who disagrees. Yeah, that's because there's a fucking, a fucking bunch of DGGers who hang out in VGG. I see you. And you people want DGG? You want VGG to be just like DGG. And here, here's praying... Here's praying to God that Vosh never caves into people like you. Because DGG is a boring hellhole personality cult nonsense. And I hope that VGG never becomes that. As somebody who as somebody who spent years, literal years in VGG, please God never let that happen. I would rather have VGG go the way of Hassan's chat than the way of DGG. Uh, like a thousand I know, times. I trust you, Vermin. I know, okay. I trust you. It's not that well studied? That makes sense. Yeah, that's an incredible range. Um, I'd be willing to bet that the number of people who have disassociative identity disorder to the extent that they have altered, You didn't leave D VGG, Gayfesh. You were in VGG this morning, you edgelord. You edgelord. I can see it sometimes. I can see it sometimes, Max. I'm not calming down, Jonathan Pasternak. I won't. I will. I'm calling you out, gay fish. I'm calling you out. I know. Come here. Come here. Here's a hug. Here's here's a digital hug. Hug. But look, it's because I'm right here. You can see my name right here, okay? There you go. Are probably a fraction of a fraction of a single percentage point. Um I'd be willing to bet. Even if we took the percent the number of people who have DID and make it like one percent, I'd be willing to bet like a one hundredth or one thousandth of them have like actual alters. This is a this is an incredibly this is just pulling out of his ass vosh come on vosh come on you're pulling this out of your ass like straight out of your ass literally uh, uh i don't know what the percentage of the population is but uh i'm gonna guess that 0.1 percent of whatever that po that percentage i don't know is actually the real deal I'm sorry. Like this actually, oh, this actually irritates me. This irritates me. I get angry at this. I'm sorry. That is a, that is a, that is a fucking, that's a fucking, uh, that's a fucking doo doo fart. That's a fucking doo doo fart. If you, if I've ever seen one, that's a doo doo fart. I'm sorry. Vosh, you did a doo doo fart. That was a doo doo fart take. I'm sorry. There we go. All right. You know, um, Sorry, dude. As it's opposed to a range of correlative conditions that may express themselves in less severe ways. I have OSDD. I'd be willing to explain it. No, that's not even what this segment is about. This isn't even what this segment is about. Okay? We're not even here for it. I think I found one of the points we disagree on, Vosh. No, we're not debating this, Demon Mama. I don't care. <laughs> Jokes on you! You refused. To, you you thought I wanted to debate? No, I wanted to do a segment on it. I'm making content out of this, baby. Anyway, yeah, I know. I gotta do that. It's stupid. No, it was set to F7, but that's okay. K F Logan. K F Logan. K F Logan. K F Logan. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, 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 welcome. Come get comfortable, all of you. I am raging at the moment. Not really. I'm not really raging. I'm actually having a great time. Come in and get comfortable. You want to join the website, which is where this chat is. So if you just came in, and and welcome to all of you, please join the website over at demonmama.com forward slash live. You can sign in with your Twitch, and you get all of our amazing emotes. Very happy to have you, and thank you for the raid, KF Logan. Really appreciate that. KF Logan, KF Logan, KF Logan, KF Logan, KF Logan. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Tiny Monkey Army. <gasps> Tiny Monkey Army. That's cute. That's so cute. We are doing a, a um, big conversation about neo-pronouns, about plurality, etc., and we are responding to somebody you might recognize as the Vosh. And I, I, if you want to catch up, you can uh, catch, the, you can actually rewind if you go and watch on the website 
and you can catch up in 2x speed if you want to, or you can just go along for the ride because I'm about to give my sort of summary. What's up with Hassan's chat? Hassan's chat just spams Keck V or Keck W all the time. They just, it's like if, if our chat only had Keck D in it, that's what Hassan's chat is like. Um, it's just a, 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 a never ending spam of Keck D or Keck W, I guess, is on, the, on, on Hassan's. But yeah, if our chat was like only Keck, Keck D's. Yeah, that's basically. Yeah, that that this is what it looks like right here. That was a good combo, yeah. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. Let us continue, please. Welcome and thank you for the raid. Happy to have you all. Wait, about what? The disassociative identity disorder thing? Conk what? police? No. No, I refuse. We're going to keep talking about it. It's an important issue. And it hasn't been three hours. Yeah, I'm still going to do the Blair segment. I want to I wanna go over Blair's video. Also, Vermin, we're going to do... We're going to do a Tim Pool segment today. That's right. We're literally doing a Tim Pool segment. I feel genuinely hurt with the shit Vosh said on stream as a person who's been diagnosed with DID. I'm literally down a spiral of self-doubt, not even knowing if I'm real right now. Fuck my life. Lumi? Lumi, this is a learning moment. I understand. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me right now. This is a direct call out. This is a message. This is a test of the infernal broadcast system. Lumi, internet personalities do not determine your validity. They never will. You must, even if that internet personality it's is hurtful or not helpful, you must decent combo. strive onward for yourself. Does everyone remember the only law that has ever been issued from Demon Mama? to the imps, the only one that I will ever say, the only law, the only command. Don't die ever, like never, ever, ever, or it'll go bad, not just for you, but for all of us. No dying. You're valid. You find the people who help you live a good life. Here's the secret about mental health. Every, and I know this because I am very informed on this actual issue, okay? Ready? Every single disorder is a nebula of certain identifiers that help us decide on certain paths of action. That is it. That is it. That is all that they are. All diagnoses are simply organizing facts, organizing symptoms, and trying to suss out what the best path to a fulfilling life will be. Okay? That's what matters. What matters is halting the suffering and advancing and growing. That is all. It's all that mental health has ever been. It's all that it will ever be. It will always be nebulous concepts Perhaps they'll get more accurate over time or more useful over time, but that is what mental health is. Mental health is simply helping you process and figure out what you need to do to be happier and better, okay? Also, I'm very happy you didn't die, Panic Stasis. You did a good job. Now you just got to keep it up. Watch this, Conk Police. I can help you with that. I can help you, Conk Police. There you go. There you go. There you are. You can you can take an you can take a actually wait a second. That was one day. Hey, whatever, that'll work. Now you don't have to now you don't have to suffer anymore. Now you can su now you can either keep watching in silence or you can go do something else. You're free. I freed you. I I've let you go if you want to. You can come back. You're free to come back, but for now, you're free. You're free. You don't have to watch me. You don't have to watch me do my fucking content. You don't have to watch me do my content and bitch about it in the chat. Number one rule is best. Indeed, it's the only Number rule. Number one rule is the best. Quantum immortality. Uh, yes, FTW. Rhodes. That sounds incredible. That sounds absolutely incredible.
We'll continue. We'll, I'll, I'll do... Posadas John, ping me about that afterwards and I'll tell you, okay? I'll tell you afterwards, okay? Lumi, you are valid. You are trying to figure out what you what is best for you and no online person myself or vosh or fucking god can tell you that okay nobody nobody can tell you what is correct people can give you advice which you might choose to integrate but nobody can tell you nobody gets to dictate what you do with your mind and your body no one let's continue Also, one more thing. Oh, God. I'm sorry. One more thing. With the altar shit on social media, okay? The way people are so gung-ho and so enthusiastic about their mental illnesses sometimes really puts me off, okay? I can't... I'm not trying to do the gatekeepy thing because a bunch of people experience... Boom, boom. You failed. It's a wide range of issues like you this. You failed, but like, You did do the man, gatekeepy thing. The way people talk about depression, OCD, anxiety disassociative identity disorder um no. honest question is there ever a reason to not indulge someone who is identifying literally as another species or vampire or whatever okay it's not about indulging okay it's not about indulging okay let me make something clear it has nothing to do with indulging or not indulging okay it has to do with this see this see that remember what i said before about communication having to be about this if you want to help someone, if you really want to help someone, you have to meet them where they are. You will not help someone if you don't meet them. Now, there is time to do pushback. But the time to do pushback is usually not when someone is bearing their soul to someone. Okay? If someone is bearing their soul to you, you don't usually want to do pushback. You want to hear them out. Let them get out what they're trying to do. This is if you want to help them. You're not obligated to listen to anybody. No one is obligated to listen to anybody else. But if it is, if somebody is bringing something vulnerable and potentially flawed to you on a platter and your response is to make fun of them or to negate them or to start poking holes in it, you're failing at helping that person. That's super insulting. I have psychosis, so I see and hear shit. If I didn't talk about it and take it seriously when it happens, I'd start falling down a spiral away from reality. Listen, and, okay, did you know that that psychosis is not the only form of, of becoming distanced from reality? Thank you very much for the dono, for the donation, uh, David Haldane. Did you know grass. that psychosis is not the only way of becoming distanced from reality? Did you know that people can uh, become so egotistical that they think that they are the greatest person on the planet, even though they're not. That's another way of dis distancing yourself from reality. There are all kinds of ways that you can become distanced from reality. Religion is a form of that. Um, but how? But sussing out the truth is not so easy as reality versus fiction, right? Here's something that's very uncomfortable for all of you in chat right now. I recognize that polaire, but we're not talking about extremes, okay? Um, okay, there is a... Sussing out the difference between reality and fiction is actually kind of hard sometimes, okay? And here's an uncomfortable truth. You are irrational. You are irrational. Right now, yes, you. Yes, you. You are irrational. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. There are things residing in your brain right fucking now that are so false that it's laughable. You have something in your head right now that is so wrong, that is so disconnected from reality that you could be laughed at if somebody found it out. But you're lucky because most people will never fire, find it out for one reason or another. But everybody has these things. And it's normal. Yes, it is normal. We cannot understand reality without challenging it. 
We cannot understand reality without being able to identify what is unreal. And for some people, there are increased struggles with this. Like, for example, psychosis causes you to struggle greatly with parsing what is real and what is not real. Uh, there are hallucinogenics can cause that as well. However, does this mean that we should not try to decrease the number of things that are irrational? I think that it's fine to, to aim to decrease that, but you aren't so good at it. So fucking take a seat and learn from Socrates that you know nothing, that you are a fool, that you are a, a speck in the face of the universe and have some goddamn humility. Everybody on the planet, and this is especially true, you know this is true by the number of people that I have that I have debated on this platform. You know for a fact that there are a bunch of people who are so obsessed with being morally consistent that they actually drive themselves functionally insane. There are people that we have talked to on this channel who are when so obsessed with this idea of rationality that they, they become the irrational in the pursuit of rationality. Don't be that person. Do not that be that person. Now, Dawkins, I'm vague posting towards Dawkins and Harris. Yes, Dawkins is a great example of that. Thank you very much, Roman Medley. Appreciate that. Now, Socrates is the wisest of all the Greeks. For of all the Greeks, only Socrates knows that he knows nothing. True! It's not a cookie. I'm a liar. I'm a filthy liar. I'm a filthy motherfucking liar. That's right. Suck it. Deal with it. Can I say DID rights? Are you fucking kidding me? DID rights and plural thriving. DID rights and DID thriving. Plural rights and plural thriving. There you have it. I got you all three. I don't want to mix everybody up. Okay? And I mean that. And I mean that. Didn't Socrates also think that democracy was bad because not everyone actually understood government? He compared it to a ship manned by those who weren't sailors, if I recall. Well, the secret is then to not conclude that democracy is broken, but that we need to equip people to understand government. Pretty fucking important, right? Listen, just because, um, just because Socrates was super smart doesn't mean that he was right about everything, okay? Dum-dums can miss it. We can all be dum-dums sometimes, okay? That wasn't aimed at you, Rat King. I agree, but that is your personal need, not everyone's. Some people get so lost in a uh, in their perception of reality that they forget that they don't know everything. And some people have a hard time staying connected to reality, and therefore they need extra help being grounded. For example, myself. When I am having a BPD episode, I need people, and I have specifically asked for people, um, to help me remember what is true in moments like that. Everybody has different needs. People's brains are very complicated. Okay. Well, they get better with time, Q-Stick. At least, at least they have for me. I've gotten much better. I've gotten much better about it. Like, for example, like, my episodes are very mild now. What the fuck? Okay, let's talk about this pluralism, okay? First of all, it's not pluralism. They are plural people. Don't use things like isms about stuff. Okay, that's just fucking weird. Okay. Now, um, plural people, it's okay, don't worry, I'm not, I'm not mad at you. P 
plural people are people who for a massive or plural systems. Yeah, plural systems. That works. Um, they are people who for a massive diversity of reasons um, have concluded that the way that they imagine themselves or the way that they express themselves is via multiple personas. And again, there is a lot of there is a lot of variety to the reasons why people uh, figure this out about themselves, why people uh, con conclude this, but there's nothing wrong with that. And here's the thing, and I'm going to challenge people on this because there's this sort of idea, there's an assumption, right? Yeah, I know. Well, I'm trying to I'm trying to bridge the gap between making people understand it and then they can go understand more. I know the wording isn't perfect, okay? Um, a lot of, and I'm not, I'm never going to be purple. Yeah. Uh, can people be a plural system without having DID being diagnosed? Of course. Absolutely. Just like people can be trans without, without, um, people can be trans without having gender dysphoria and, uh, without being diagnosed. Same exact way. So not all plural people have DID. Not all, well, I guess all D DID people are plural because of the way that it works. But the reality is. How do you know who you are? Does anybody know? Anybody in chat want to let me know how you know who you are? How do you know that you're just one person? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. You declare it. You declare that you are. Now, it might be that you have very strong emotional ties to that. But how do you know who you are? It's very tough. This question, by the way, can be, um, can be replicated for trans people. How do you know that you're a woman? How do you know that you're a man? Tough question. These questions are very difficult, right? It does depend on how you define it. Hence, why people have different conclusions, okay? Now, do you believe, ready? Here we go. Here we go, ready, 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 hold on a second. Take it, take a minute, nobody panic real quick. But I want you to think and want and ask yourself if somebody could rationally conclude by a different process than your own differently about their their understanding of themselves and their expression of themselves than you do you think that that's possible i think it is eminently possible i think that it is rational to assume that people might have a different experience of reality and of self than myself I believe that it is possible that there could be, it could be something like a difference in interpretation of things. It could be a difference in experience of things. I <laughs> know, bong rip, but seriously, I'm not high at all, just so you know. Like, listen, I do this shit when I'm sober. When I'm high, I can't do these conversations. So, it is difficult. It is difficult to uh, to come to conclusions about these things. And as it turns out, a lot of people have thought about them. And some of them conclude differently than the average person. This isn't, I mean, it is a philosophical discussion, but the point of it is, um, the point of it is to continue what we've been talking about in this conversation, okay? Because I don't, I think that there is a, uh, what's the word? Um, there is a uh, prejudice or an assumption that is, I think that Vosh is, is demonstrating in this, um, in this, in this particular video, which is that Vosh is assuming that everyone thinks exactly like him and 
that his approach to understanding the self is the only potential is the only true way of understanding the self but we know it's not maybe maybe lone cat can people choose to form a plural system in order to better express themselves? Like in the way that I can create characters I consider part of myself, but different from what I consider to be my traditional self? I don't know. I think it's possible. I think that's very possible. I think that some people might, that might be the way that they express it, right? Just like there's, just like there's very different ways, just like there are many, there is no right way to be trans. There is likely no right way to be plural either. There are people who, I mean, there are, there's a discussion about tulpas, which is, by the way, the concept of tulpas, which I know some people are going to think, oh, you mean like the, the, the subreddit? Well, keep in mind that tulpas are from a, a, a ancient religious discussion. I'm talking an ancient religious concept. A tulpa is a alternate personality. I, I, I'm sorry if my words aren't perfect here, but it is an alternate personality that someone intentionally creates. And this was a practice, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, my history might be a little bit uh, rocky on this, but it was a Nepalese religious practice that was done to be able to understand the world in it from a different perspective. Now, for some people, perhaps believe that this is mystical in nature. Others, like myself, perhaps would conclude, actually, this is an inc interesting ritual and technique that can help prepare you to approach issues from a different perspective. It doesn't necessarily have to be magical or mystical to have a purpose. Yes, it is. I know. I know it is. To spirit and trans identity. There's another example. Okay. Hello, Zarel. Good to see you. I'm not here to um, to talk about extensively tulpas or anything like that. What I'm saying is we should approach this, in my opinion, not by ceding ground to conservatives, but instead by defending people who are likely to be uh, to be um, marginalized, even. If we have to endure some cringe, okay? Do my best, Morningstar. I do my best. <sighs> anyway, let's continue, okay? Let's continue. I know this is a long form thing, but I like this stuff, all right? I like this. This is like, I don't know. I, I think that I, I, this is one of the sorts of segments that I really like doing. Narcissism, a sociopathy. Well, we, MJ Rammy, we've been on this topic for a disorder. long time. Oh my God. The way a lot of them, t it really is just an aesthetic thing, you know? A ADHD and ADD as well. I think the worst of it is um, OCD. I think the worst of it is OCD. OCD get, people use OCD as like, a, they're like, I'm so OCD because they like like cleaning stuff. And yeah, it's, I don't know. It's fairly disrespectful, I think. Wrong. I'm sorry. I think you're wrong. I think you're wrong about this. Um, you want to know what's disrespectful? A world that constantly um, invalidates everyone who's obsessive at all. Now, I agree. There are probably some people who are like wine moms who go, oh my God, I'm so OCD. I like, oh my God. But come on, is that a real problem? Isn't this like, like isn't this unironically... Uh, isn't this like unironically replicating like conservatives freaking out about Mr. Potato Head? Is that a real issue? I don't think it is. I really don't think it is. I think we can talk these things out. It's not, it doesn't have to be said like to this degree of causing harm or anything like that. No, no, no. Faking OCD is a huge problem. How? So many people just think OCD is being clean and neat. How is it a problem? Explain how it's a problem. I would love to know. 
Also, I never got that study. That study was never sent to me from whoever was in chat who wanted to bring me the study. It's an education problem, but an education problem is not the same as an advocacy problem. We're all a little autistic, as said towards me and my two autistic brothers, but that is a different usage. That is downplaying something you're struggling with. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully they'll come back to me. They can DM it to me, maybe. Yeah, that's why you educate and not claim, not, not say that they're faking it. You educate people, and they come to their own conclusions. And guess what? Yeah, it's the stereotyping. Yeah, it is. And I, I noticed, by the way, I noticed that no one had an answer for why it's harmful. It's dismissive. If somebody uses it to be dismissive, that's a minor problem. That's a very minor problem that can be sor sorted by education. You're seething? Well, seethe harder. Sorry, Sarel. I'm 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 doing my segment and then after that I have debates and then we can talk after that if you're still around. Okay? It can trivialize, but guess what? People make the Okay, ready? I'm going to do it again for the third fourth time here right now. Ready? Ready? Are you ready? Here we go. I'm going to do it again. Ha! Ah, these trans trenders, they trivialize the real struggles of actual trans people. These these fetishists who just want to dress up like a woman so that they can have sex with other trans women. Oh god, they're they're trivializing real trans people like myself who need to get surgery so that we can be so that we can blend in. Nah, I don't buy it. I'm sorry, I don't buy that. No, 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 no. Education is the best policy. Education is better than this nonsense, okay? Am I being serious right now? I am dead serious. Do Thoodle, Thoodle, get in the Discord and I'll, I'll talk to you about it after this. I'll, di I'll, I'll talk to you after this. Get in the Discord. I got a line of people who want to argue with me about this, and I will. I'll argue about this all day. We'll do eight hours of arguing on this. I think it's that important. Tranrec, find a new psych, okay? So find a new psych, Tranrec. I'm serious. Find a new psych. Don't abide psychologists who are going to treat you like shit. Find a good psych. There are bad psychs. Listen. My friend's dad used to be a psychologist. And do you know what he would tell people? Actually, he still is a psychologist. Do you know what he would tell people? Do you know what he would tell people? He would tell people there are no atheists in foxholes. He would preach to his patients. There are bad psychs out there. If your psych is not suiting your needs, go to another psych, okay? Yes, well, it depends, Stone. Some places you can. I recognize it may not be the solution every case, but you, em yes, you employ them. Correct. Zots, I think that you, uh, listen, Zots, look, look, I respect you a lot too, Zots, you know this. But I'm sorry, you have a hate boner for Vosh. You always have had a hate boner for Vosh. And I get it, but I just don't think... I, I think that you've let your your personal frustrations with Vosh blind you, okay? I think that Vosh is like... I think he's he's not perfect, but I don't think... I think that declaring him as like a harm to marginalized people is not accurate or fair or helpful, personally. I, and I and by the way, I say that with love. I really respect you a lot, Kamazots. I really do. I just disagree with you on this particular take. And I know, because I watch your content, I know you get pretty mad about Vosh all the time. And I get it. I get it. And I understand there's some things he said that are really frustrating. But Vosh is somebody... I do agree this is a bad take. That's why I'm critiquing it. Okay? That's why I'm critiquing it. Okay? Let's continue. Let's not get distracted anymore. Okay? We need to finish this or we're never going to get it done. I know there's a million people who want to argue with me. 
Autism is different, though, right? Wrong, Billy the Toe. Yeah, oh, I'm going to do this all day. Billy the Toe says, It is harmful because if people see healthy people claiming to have autism, it could justify taking away benefits from, from first of all, uh, that's, a, that's a slur, but at, at people with, with autism. Billy the Toe, quick thing. That's a problem with the system. That's a problem with the system. That's a problem with how benefits are dispersed. That's not a problem with people who are misunderstanding their life. You can set, you have autism, but that doesn't, like, I don't care. Like, I have ADHD and BPD. That doesn't mean everything that I say is right. Anyway. Let's continue. Gosh. Um, are there people online who, like, cringely brag about being on aspie is absolutely not a slur yes it absolutely is i'm i could even get reported for saying that that is absolutely a slur are you kidding me go on 4chan it absolutely is absolutely is a slur i'm sorry uh, it is it's derogative yeah it was used against my siblings i'm sorry it is just be fucking chill it absolutely i've never ever i have never seen it use. i've never seen it used positively it's it's definitely i maybe it'll be reclaimed but jesus in ways that seem disingenuous i don't know if that's something people aesthetize quite as much if there are then sure i guess that's an issue yeah i do <laughs> i get it you know how it is yeah unironically though here's another little here's another little critique of all the people to be talking about aestheticizing and weaponizing your mental illness vosh literally for years defended his constant use of the r slur by aestheticizing and and wearing his a, a, his own autism as a badge come on come on Vosh. come on come on dude you just did it the other day i was watching your stream the other day you just did it the other day i know come on dude dude come on i love you dude but come on all right can we fuck man you people have kind of proved the point there, haven't you? No, they like, haven't. Hey. And again, I'm going to roast Vosh here. Triggered Vosh. Triggered Vosh. Minor pushback from the chat and he loses his mind. He, they can't keep, chat can't keep getting away with it. They can't keep getting away with minorly disagreeing with me. Ah! Love you, buddy. But come on. Neo come on, chill out. Win, uh, the, the orbit around all trans discourse. Hey, the left isn't like this. But then people on, in my community are act, like, you guys act like the stereotype of the leftists I try to convince other people don't exist. You're all much. just being yeah. SJWs. You're all just being SJW woke scolds. Do not go and like send this person any hate. I'm going to remove their at so that doesn't happen because I think to anyone who can watch this TikTok, it's very clear this person is probably struggling with like some other issues, right? The only point to be made here is that not all issues need to be validated. At what point when you're making people refer to you as a rabbit, do people who like love you be like, okay, listen, we know you're going through something. Wait, again, wait, again the bun bun self, th I can't believe I'm defending this, but the bun bun self thing doesn't mean people are saying they're a rabbit. True. They're, they're just, it's the pronouns, okay? They're not saying they're a rabbit. And if they are, they're eh, wrong, I guess. Sometimes. But, but you're not allowed to just put your issue. Nah, I, the thing is, to be completely honest, most vast, and in here, look, look, I've been busting Vosh's chops, but seriously, Vosh is, Vosh is actually somebody who does a really good job at taking feedback most of the time. Yeah, he's had a few moments, everybody does, but Vosh does a really fucking good job self-critiquing. In fact, that's one of the reasons why I respect him a lot as a content creator is because he does actually self-critique, like, like meaningfully.
Like, he's done entire streams renouncing previous positions and digging into himself. He owns up to his the shit that he does wrong. Not always in the moment, but come on, people. You can't expect somebody to just immediately agree with you immediately. That's just not how things work. Be realistic. Come on. News on everyone else around you. You can't just put whatever you're going Thank you, through Undercat. Appreciate on that. strangers throughout the world to call you a bunny. And, like, what? You're neglecting the issue. Compelling counter argument there from Blair White. What? Blair, everything you're saying could be said about you. Oh, now we have to rec say trans women are women? How narcissistic of you to press this onto everyone else. Now we are, you're so making it all about you and we have to talk and say you're a woman and oh my god. Like these are the same arguments that could be using to you. Issues that you need to really be dealing with and replacing it with yes, policing people react and react. how they Always talk to been. you and like micromanaging the way in which people speak all around you. If anyone ever asked me to refer to them as a bunny, I would just reply with, oh baby, that's your problem. I gotta go. No. Wait, th again, it's the pronouns aren't the same. <sighs> Wait. But Va but see, Vosh, is, Vosh now is trying to make the argument against Blair that he just did Blair's argument. Oh, this is such a sloppy segment, in my opinion. Ugh. Is she doing this on purpose? Or is she- st Are you doing this on purpose? Stupid enough. She legitimately can't tell the difference I know between you're not. pronouns or- Would her points be valid if she wasn't trans? Well, the problem is, Samson87, she's not actually making any arguments. Like, like have you seen any? So the most I can really do is point out that her vague half-gesturing and arguments would also affect her negatively. Which she doesn't care about because she probably thinks about as little of herself as she's claiming she thinks of the bun bun self people. I don't have time to- True though! That is actually true. I don't know why they them is in the title. You know, dive into this particular endeavor with you, but I'm gonna pray for you. I have though known one person in my life who goes by Z Zer and little story time. So there was this guy that I knew, he transitioned from a girl to a guy, this was in college, from a girl to a guy, regretted it, tried to transition back, couldn't really reverse a lot of the stuff, and so eventually came to like a compromise where he was existing as like a z -zer. not like a he or a she, but like a Z or a Zer, right? Wait, hold on. They transitioned, but then they regretted it, and they couldn't nail the detransition, so now they're using neo-pronouns to exist Doubt. as some sort of in-between. Why does every conservative have a friend like this? Yeah. I know so many people. So does Lauren and Southern. It's the same friend as Lauren like Southern. This. I know so many trans people, and I have never, story ever, is mega ever sus. heard any story like this. And detransitioning due to regret is exceptional. Bow, 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 exceptional. Bow, 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 um, yeah, I, I don't think this is true. I bet the reason why they had to detransition, by the way, is <laughs> and that because, person's uh, name was Albert Einstein. They got pressed by their parents who are progressives who saw that their kid was wearing clothing associated with the other sex, so they pushed the transition on them. And I don't know, the way I am is like, I'm probably not going to try to talk to you if you have these types of pronouns because I know I'm gonna- Wait, she said she never heard of neo-pronouns but this happened in college? Ah, cu mm, curious. Curious. Slip yes. up and like, I'm not trying to like mm, have a confrontation with someone because I'm not calling them Zezer or Bunny and Bunny and Frog, like cantaloupe, watermelon, microphone, whatever. But we had mutual friends. Attack helicopter. Brrrr. <laughs> So he came over to my townhouse in college for a party. I used to throw the most banger parties. Oh my God. And within five minutes of being in my house, he had an absolute mental breakdown over the color blue. I am not exaggerating. He said that he had a trigger for the color blue. And that if he saw it, it brought back like some sort of PTSD or just something crazy. And so he threw a huge panic attack and meltdown in the bathroom. And of course, everyone was. All right. So, wait, does it derail again? I don't know if it derails again. Is there more? Is there more? I had to go get ready for stream after this. Somebody who watched it, is there more? Okay. Um, so, real real quick, though. Real quick. We're going to talk about... Oh, there is more. Oh, oh, there's a lot more. I didn't know that. Okay, we'll get into it. I didn't know that. I was getting ready for stream. We'll get in there. Uh, real quick thing. Real quick thing, okay? 
This is another conservative illusion, okay? They want you to think that every single person in the entire world who uses neo-pronouns will go absolutely insane and kill you if you ever mess up their neo-pronoun. And that does not happen. It has never, I mean, I don't think it's, I've never seen it, okay? I've never seen anybody, okay? No one, no one does this. And it is a way of demonizing and caricaturizing people, okay? This has not, her story has nothing to do with anything. She's just trying to press the little serotonin button in conservative's head that says, blue haired SJW, blue haired SJW. She's just reaching in and pushing that button over and over again. You know, oh, listen, let's continue. What does this have to do with the broader topic of the video? Like trying to tend to him and like, you know, trying to get him to come out of the bathroom. And like, it was just a lot. Needless to say, did not hang out with him again. That was a bit much for me. But I say that to say, like, one thing I learned from going to therapy. Big red. And because I did. I'm not. I don't believe a single word of this story, by yeah. the way. I go to therapy after my sexual assault when I was younger to sort of cope with it. Let's check into Twitch chat. Your Sorry, I haven't been checking are not Twitch anyone chat. Else's responsibility. I'm watching Twitch like, chat. Truly. Now. They're for you and you alone. Thank to you, Lysergic Ashes, as, ashes for this on tier one sub. People. Thank you so much. Wait, wait. What's the relationship between these factors if you have a breakdown at a party, assuming any of this bullshit story is real? That's very wait, good. Wait, what do you hear. Hi, Twitch chat. Wait, what are you, wait, what are you supposed to do? Wait. <laughs> yeah, sure. Your emotional issues are your okay. Pro Wait, hold on. We've mixed up like 17 things right now. Okay, I'm first at you, of all, Blob Lotto. I'm just not looking at you. Neo right pronouns now. aren't emotional triggers. Second of all, what's the lesson from the story that if you go to a party amongst friends and Hyper have a pronouns. breakdown that like Ultra they should pronouns. all like, it's yeah, time. Like, tell it's your problem? Like what? What are we learning from this exactly? It's the same way that when I transitioned and I wanted people to call me she, like I did have to put in a certain amount of True, effort and work though. to do that. Like True. I wasn't just gonna be presenting as male, Super screaming pronouns. at my mom Mega to call pronouns. me she, otherwise like I hate her. That defies common sense, it's unfair, and it's highly narcissistic. So that's what I think about. I can't imagine Okay, does anybody have think. the timestamp when Vosh gets back on, on the topic that we were talking about? Cause this is just like, I'm just reacting to Blair. Uh, try refreshing devious it could be it's probably on youtube my stream my stream stats are all showing up okay i don't have any issues on my end at least not that i can see does anybody know i don't i don't want to but this is i mean but i want to do this video myself i want to respond to this video myself i don't want to i don't want to let I, I like i don't know yeah, hexagram, when was the rest? Just go to the end of the Blair White part? Okay. Oh, he didn't finish the video. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. <sighs> yeah, unplanned collab takedown. Oh, no. God damn it. Oh, God damn it. It broke. Xbox Live? Oh. You can't really write out a co collegiate thesis in response to it. You need, I need a little more to work with there. And given the fact that Blair White's intellectual capacity seems to be about it's on board good. with 13 good. year olds on Xbox Live, I am limited. I am limited in my response. Anyway, yeah, very cringe. Super cringe. Why does she hate herself so much? I don't know. Just make sure you don't end up like her, okay? It's not worth the YouTube money. Yes. Yes, Tom Pink. The content mill marches onwards. Vosh, why do you argue against neo-pronouns only when conservatives mention it and then it's embarrassing? I'm not sure what you mean. I don't think that neo-pronouns serve their purpose very well. They're essentially just nicknames. I don't think that, like, linguistically, rhetorically, they provide... The whole, your mental health is your problem is so bad, it kind of implies you shouldn't ever lean on anyone if you're freaking out, which is just incorrect. I didn't say that ever. 
I never said that. I literally, I never said that. Did I ever say that? Did I ever say that at all? I don't think I did. Very much utility. Oh, Blair said uh, that? Oh, okay. Oh, Blair said that. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I, I was, sorry. I'm confused. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, that's stupid. Um, but I'll defend neo pronouns against conservatives because we have different criticisms. Mine is that they're like a little dumb. Oh, okay. And theirs are like. Uh, Vosh agreed. Did I miss something? Uh, we'll talk about that. Like this is the. We'll talk the about death. that all when we do the Blair react. Okay. Well, We're gonna Western react to the Blair White thing. You know? Okay. I think there's a pretty critical distinction. God, there. I was supposed I to can do have minor disagreements with like the idea of a social. <laughs> I was supposed to do. Holy shit. I was supposed to do some news stuff today. <laughs> I'll do it in a little bit, okay? Trend, I'll do the news like eventually. Of a, of a linguistic work, We've done plenty of uh, politics, just no news. Every bad faith conservative argument made there. Vosh, but those nicknames are short and conjugated, so they still work as shorthands for listen, names. Listen, listen, listen. Doing a news segment, doing a news segment is my okay buddy, is my okay buddy Vosh thing. I will keep kicking the can down the road forever, forever. Did you know that most of my show used to be news coverage? I used to cover and commentate on the news. That's what my show used to be. Now all I'm doing is just constant, constant original content. No fucking news. Fuck the news. Fuck the news. Fuck the news. Fuck it. I know. Well, uh, the great irony. It is all the cycles. It's, it's like poetry, gay fish. It rhymes. Not normalizable. Um... It just seems why why would we make neo pronouns nicknames? I just I just don't understand why we would. If it's useful, I, I'm, if it helps, just don't understand sure, like, why. why? Yeah, they're just nouns. Yeah, but the point the point of a pronoun is specifically to you're right, avoid Jessica, Metal, using right. a name. A nickname is just another name, but Nick. No, no, no. That's not true, though. That's not true, Vosh. It's not to avoid using a name. It's just a grammatical random chance. It's not. It's not, we, we, pronouns aren't to avoid using names. It's because of out, because English is structured weird and we have a whole bunch of times where there's, it's really hard to tell who you're talking about because we don't have the same verb structure as other languages. No, it isn't. That's such a silly way of, no, that's just like, that's not English. If you talk, but Voldemort, names are when Nick, no, that's not true. That's not true. Listen, 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 I I'm sorry. I don't want to pull rank on all of you people. I, 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 I don't want to pull rank on you people. But I studied Latin. I fucking have written professionally for years. I have self-published a book. I talk about language all the time. Okay? I'm going to pull a little bit of rank. Pronouns are not just... Somebody didn't sit down and go, God, I really hate saying people's names. I wonder if we could come up with something that would help us not say names. What about small name? No, that's not what it was. It's it's a it is a uh, an emergent uh, linguistic characteristic that allows us to quickly uh, indicate in a limited context who is what, right? Like, for example, um, right now, let me give you an example of this. It's not just to get rid of names. Ready? Watch this. Ready? Oh, my fucking God. I can't believe that motherfucker signed that bill into law. He's a real dumb shit. Who am I talking about? Who the fuck am I talking about? Exactly. We have things that refer to other things contextually. Pronouns are a, a a a a contextual shorthand. They smooth out language, but they're not meant to get rid of names. It's just if you were watch this. You know what? We're gonna show. We're gonna show you something. Watch this. Ready? Ready? Watch this. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna have to do this. I'm gonna have to react. Here we go. Ready? I'm reacting to this. I hope this doesn't get my channel taken down. I don't think it will. Let's see. Will it? Okay, it might. It might. I don't care. If it goes down, you're all coming back, right? You're all coming back, okay? This is commentary. This is important.
have a friend named Rufus Xavier Sarsaparilla, and I could say that Rufus found a kangaroo. They found a Rufus home, and now that kangaroo belongs to Rufus Xavier Sarsaparilla. I could say that, but I don't have to, because I got pronouns I can say. He found a kangaroo that followed him home, and now it is his. You see, he, him, and his are pronouns replacing the noun. Rufus Xavier Sarsaparilla, a very proper noun. And it is a pronoun, replacing the noun. Kangaroo, how come? Kangaroo, this guy is a, the Schoolhouse Rock had some truly, truly, truly banging tunes. Kangaroo, yeah, how can you argue with that? I've got Schoolhouse Rock on my side. has a sister named Rafaela Gabriela Sasparella. If she found a kangaroo, I'd say to you, she found a kangaroo that followed her home, and now it is hers. But I can't say that, because she found an odd vibe that fell in love with her, and they're so happy. And my name's Albert Andrea Samadilla. No relation to the Sasparilla. This is so? Because of pronouns, I can I say. I told you. I wish she would find a rhinoceros for me, and we'd I be happy. happy. You see, a pronoun was made to take the place of a noun. Because saying all those nouns over, over and over can really wear you, you down. There you go. See? Because saying all those nouns over and over and over again really gets you down. There you go. And I've educated you on why. <sighs> Did it F? Did we get F'd? I hope we didn't get F'd. I hope we didn't get F'd. Please say we didn't get F'd. We didn't get F'd, did we? No, we didn't get F'd. We didn't get F'd. Oh, no! Oh, no, we got temporarily F'd. Okay, hold on. It'll stop. It'll stop. It'll stop. It'll stop. It's a warning. It's not gone yet. No F yet. Ooh. So, what I'm trying to say here... What I'm trying to say here, just a warning. Yeah, they've added a warning. Thank God. And I stopped. I stopped. There we go. It's It should be cleared now, hopefully. It, it stopped, so. I can't believe they have that copyrighted. That's such, that defeats the purpose. That totally defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Anyway, listen. What I'm trying to say is, is that they're literally a pronouns are, are for are for linguistic shortening. They're not to get rid of us needing to say nouns. Pronouns rely on context. And guess what? They stop serving that purpose if they don't communicate who the fuck you're talking about, right? Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Ready? Let me give you a quick example. What if you have three men in a room? John Tim and Tom. Which one am I talking about when I say his sandwich? And they're all holding sandwiches. You don't fucking know. You don't fucking know. There you go. You rephrase it to remove ambigu ambiguity or... You use the pronoun, you use the proper nouns, or you use other contextual clues. And guess what? In English, we put a lot of gender. We we da we put a dash of gender into all of our uh, all of our pronouns. And if somebody's gender isn't male or female, neo pronouns are one of multiple possible solutions to maintaining the structure of language so that we can do this without making someone feel bad. Bam. Done. There you go. Of course it's Anglo-centric, you idiot. We're speaking English! Obviously it's Anglo-centric! Obviously! Obviously, John, I speak English! Everyone's listening in English! Doesn't they, them just work better? Well, as it turns out, that's just your opinion, dude. That's just your opinion. Some people don't like it. 
And guess what? Did you know that before they, them, did you know that neo pronouns were popular in the fucking 70s? People liked those, they liked neo pronouns better in the 70s, and then they switched to they, them, and now they're switching back because people are fickle motherfuckers who have differing opinions. Stop thinking that just because you think something that it's objectively correct. <sighs> okay. All right. All right. I got to get it out of my system. How does bunny tree take the position of he, she, them grammatically? Tree is going to the store. And when tree gets back, tree will have chips to share with us. There, I did it. That was easy. That was easy. It sounds like a name. Okay. Watch this. I'm going to blow your minds. Ready? Watch this. Ready? Ready? Watch this. Ready? Watch this. I'm going to blow all of your minds. Watch this. Tree sounds like a name. Do you know what else sounds like a name? Do you know what else sounds like a name? She. I have a character. I have a character in my game of Amazing Cultivation Simulator, whose name is she. Some things sound the same and you have to use language differently in those cases. <gasps> oh, oh God.